Hi, today we're going to be talking about putting on a traction splint for a femur fracture, but first some contraindications. First would be injury within one to two inches of knee or ankle. Uh, the second contraindication would be an injury to the knee, hips, or pelvis. And the third contraindication would be a partial amputation with bone separation and the distal limb being connected only by marginal tissue. So let's talk about the steps of putting on a traction splint. First would be a direct manual stabilization of the injured leg, followed by direct manual traction. Uh, then you would conduct PMS on the injured leg. Uh, you'll prepare and adjust the splint length according to the length of the uninjured leg. Then you'll position the splint under the uh, injured leg, under the ischial tuberosity, or under the butt. Apply proximal securing device, or the ischial strap, You'll then apply the distal securing device, otherwise known as the angle hitch. You'll apply the mechanical traction using the, the splint to replace the uh, manual traction. You'll position and secure the support straps to avoid and avoiding joints and location of the brake. And then you'll reevaluate PMS on the injured leg. So let's talk about what's on the traction split. So at the top here, these, these thin straps are the ischial strap that we were talking about before. Uh, these four large straps are the support straps. Each of them open up like this and have numbers as well as uh, where you position them on the leg. Each of them are adjustable in uh, position. And on the other side, you'll see that they even come off if you need to. Here's a kickstand that you can engage. To disengage it, you pull this ring and you'll put it, pull it back. Let's have that up. Here you can spin these dials to loosen the splint and you can adjust its length. And here's the apparatus that will help you apply mechanical traction and it doesn't go back. Let's see how that's, uh, oh, and here is the ankle hitch which you apply on the ankle. This will be attached to this apparatus here. Now let's see what that looks like on a real patient. So now we have a patient with a broken femur. You can tell because the injured leg is shorter than the uninjured leg and the patient is in terrible pain. Yeah. So what you're going to want to do is stabilize the leg and pull manual traction to the length of the uninjured leg and uh, you'll be able to tell that you succeeded because the patient's pain will have subsided at least a little. Now my partner is going to come and hold manual traction for me. After my partner has taken uh, manual traction, I'm going to measure PMS. So I'm going to uh, feel the pulse on both feet. Great. Can you wiggle your toes for me? That's a motor. I'm going to touch your toe and ask you which toe it is. The second toe. Great. So now we're going to measure the length of the traction splint. A good length beyond her uninjured leg. And tighten up the dial. And prepare the straps for her injured leg. I'm going to carefully move the traction splint over to the injured leg. So now we're going to place the traction splint under the injured leg. So we're going to take the top part of the traction splint and place it right under her ischial tuberosity, so right under the curve of her butt. We're going to take the ischial straps, uh, pull it out, place it as high as possible on the thigh. tighten it as much as possible. Now with manual traction still being held, I'm going to take the ankle hitch and tie it around the patient's ankle. I'm going to take this clip part and clip it so that it is underneath the sole of the foot. And now it can be the new grip for manual traction. Now I'm going to engage the kickstand. I'm going to take the apparatus hook 
and put it around this loop here and pull for mechanical traction. Now that mechanical traction is applied, we're going to apply the support straps, making sure to avoid the fracture itself and the knee. So if the fracture is right here, I'm going to go right above and right below the support straps. Here's the knee, so we'll want to adjust this below the knee. And this goes right above the ankle. And now we'll check PMS. Good pulse, can you wiggle your toes for me? Which toe am I touching here? Big toe. Great. And so that's how you apply a traction splint. If you hope you like that, click somewhere to subscribe because we're going to be doing more of these.